probably not a surprise that Canada's electric vehicle mecca is here on Salt Spring Island. The green-leaning community claims to have a greater concentration of zero-emission vehicles than anywhere else in North America. So what made you start doing this with an electric vehicle? The ecological aspect of it and keeping our carbon footprint as small as possible. Jason Griffin, one of hundreds of EV drivers here, but it's not a utopia. Jason needs a van to move yeah. tourists around wineries and this is the only electric van for sale right now. This was my only real option um, for a vehicle this size. He uses solar panels to charge his van, but even when full, the electric range is only 50 kilometers. After that, a gas engine kicks in. Jason, though, keeps his tours tight. You say um, you're down to half a tank of gas now, mm -hmm. but since when? Since I bought the vehicle nine months ago. So that's the whoa, gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's You're the, on the same tank of gas from nine months ago. That's the gas that came from Willie Dodge in Victoria where I bought this, this van. So, yeah. So I guess that shows Even, the electrical charge is enough yeah. for what you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine. For others, though, limited range and limited model selection mean many Canadians are intrigued by electric but worry it's not yet the right moment. Doing this story about electric vehicles, even we weren't confident enough to drive 700 kilometers inland in an EV. But as we head up the mountains through snow and wilderness towards the isolated town of Rossland, we're meeting someone whose job it is to bust myths and assuage the worries. So have you driven? No. 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 OK. Have no. you got much information no. before? You're brand new. Yes. Yes. That's great. Jen, David. Hey, David. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. Yeah. So how's it going? It's TV awesome. TV show's on. It's on. Jen yeah, Grebeldinger is showing off electric vehicles, trying to dispel myths in the rural interior, where conditions can get bad quickly. When we're in a rural environment like this, what is the biggest inhibitor for people considering the leap into an EV? Uh, so across BC, what we always hear is selection, availability at dealerships, local mm -hmm. dealerships, and then cost. To challenge misconceptions, Jen is offering test drives. Sure. So we hop in too. When you're out there talking about electric vehicles, what are the things people go, yeah, but? Um, yeah, but, but winter. Winter. Yeah, but hills. Hills. And what uh, do you say to those? Just drive safely with winter tires, and that's your winter driving for most people, right? You seem to like it. I like it, yeah. There are a lot of surprised looks here, and that's the point of this EV showcase, to have existing EV owners explain just how they manage. Do you have kids? Yeah, yeah. two of boys. Can everybody get in there? There okay. is a map of the Kootenai Charge infrastructure over here. Okay. So yeah. that's actually a lot more than I would have thought. Okay, so a fair bet. And there's still the front motor is in here. And too. then there's your fluid there. Okay. Fluid. We are seven hours from Calgary, seven hours from Vancouver. Why an electric vehicle? The principle, basically. My requirements were a 500 kilometer electric range and all wheel drive for the mountains in the winter. And how many vehicles did that leave you to choose from? This is the only one. Actual selection is still quite limited, but it is changing. More cars, larger cars, soon pickups. Pull it back into drive there. So cars still on, obviously. Uh, so how do you know it's running? The screens are on. <laughs> and gradually, more with ranges above 300 kilometers. Well, she's responsive, eh? It's so easy to drive. In the passenger seat, a farmer from Saskatchewan. The electric tractors are coming out too. Yeah, Thomas tractors, yeah, they'll be coming. Not sure how all that's going to work. His son-in-law, though, thinks it could work into his lifestyle. What'd you think? Oh, it's awesome. We get so used to being able to do whatever we want, whenever we want to do. We get hungry, we just stop whenever, and we don't have to plan anything out. But with a little bit of pre-planning, you, you could make this work. That is the hope of the EV showcase. Get people thinking less about the barriers, more about overcoming them. Indeed, for EV owners, most, if not all, charging happens at home, and it's cheap, two or three bucks for a full charge. Not everyone will be convinced, but just seeing electric vehicles in action is enough for many to take a second look. So Jen is continuing her no-emission road trip, traveling and charging, showing others what's already possible. David Common, CBC News, Rossland, BC.